What's up, y'all? It is Kayla, and I'm back with another video. <laughs> All right, so I recently returned from New Orleans, and now I am back to my regularly scheduled videos. And uh, there's my Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Hi, Mimi. <laughs> For today's video, I will be talking about how to survive college. I'm over it. I'm over the pink wall. I don't want to film in front of the pink wall. Alright y'all, so we are going to be in the car today. You know what, actually I'm going to climb over here. Ooh. Now we're in business. Like I said, today I'm going to be giving y'all a few tips about college. For those of you who don't know, I go to San Diego State and I will be entering my fourth year. I love it. I love San Diego State and I'm so glad I picked the school. But you know, my college experience hasn't been all awesome all the time. Like I have gone through so many ups and so many downs and I just want to share them with y'all. So I'm just going to be talking about how I survived college, me personally. And I think that some of these tips that I'm giving can help you out, especially you entering freshmen. I'm just trying to help out where I can. You know what? I figured why not share my advice because you know, I've been through it so why I keep it to myself. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is get to know as many people as you can. If you're staying in a dorm, try to get to know everybody. They might suck, they might be awesome. You never know until you try to get to know them. I didn't get to know anybody on my floor and I except my roommate and I knew my roommate before I entered college. I wish I wouldn't have done that. I mean, at the same time, it, I kinda didn't really wanna get to know them because they were all girls and they were all really into Greek life and they really bonded over that and I don't feel like I could have bonded with them over that but I did get to know people from my friends dorms so like I got to know them so that was that was cool it, it's cool meeting new people you know you get to meet meet just meet as many people as you can get to know the people on your dorm room on your dorm floor in your dorm in general just get to know everybody number two about living in the dorms go to all the dorm events that they throw they're gonna throw events they're gonna throw like parties like I remember we had poker night that was Oh, but they brought in poker tables like just go to all those little socials that they do you'll get like free food and stuff and I know you want free food you know you want it tip number three go to all your classes this is a big one go to all your classes don't skip any of your classes just because attendance isn't required don't skip your classes freshman year honestly I was like I don't need to go I'm sleepy <laughs> nobody's taking attendance I regret that. I wish I would have gone to all my classes. I go to all my classes now because I've learned from my mistakes. But go to all your classes. There's so much valuable information that your teachers are, teachers? Teachers? Your professors are sharing. You're in college for a reason, to learn, to get a degree, okay? You need to go to all your classes. I can't stress this enough. Tip number four, get to know all your professors. Be their best friend, okay? I haven't, I have not done this enough. The professor that I did get to know, I did great in my class, cause he helped me a lot, and he was awesome. He helped me out, I talked to him about the books we were reading, this was my English class, and that was like one of the best classes I've taken. And I wish I did this more so I'm trying to pass this to you guys do this more speak to your professors get to know them tip number five get a planner if you're not into writing things down get into it I recently got into a planning my third year my third year I got a planner my first year my second year I didn't use it I just bought it just to have it my third year I really got serious about using a planner and I can't stress how much it helped my third year was my best year I did my best because of this planner because I was writing down my assignments, writing down when I had job interviews, I was writing stuff down. Just get a planner, it's so useful, I promise you. And just try to use it, it will, it will help you out so much. Tip number six, study. If you're like me and you procrastinate, change your ways. I need to change my way. I'm just trying to tell you to not procrastinate. Start studying on your exams early so that anything you study and you don't understand, you can ask your professor about. They will help you. They have office hours for a reason. I need to do this more. All this advice that I'm giving you guys, I need to apply to myself too. How am I giving the advice and like, I don't really do it. Like I need to get, I'm gonna get my life together. I've gotten my life together a lot more than I had it together. Just study. You're going to be stressed out stress the hell out I promise you you will be stressed in college there will be a time when you have 
three tests in one week and two essays due in the same week. You're just gonna be stressed out in random times during college. We're leading into tip number seven. Find something that will help relieve your stress. Get into a hobby or something, draw, Get a coloring book. Find some shows that you like to watch on Netflix. Find something that will help calm you down. You're doing all this schoolwork. You're doing work for all these classes at one time. Find a way to relieve your stress. And that's kind of leading into tip number eight. Have fun. Find something fun to do. You don't need to study 24-7. There, Everybody needs a relief. Find something fun, but don't overdo it. Just know your limits. That's it for my tips. I was inspired to do this video. I was I was stressed out a little bit about my schedule. I was thinking about my schedule. I was thinking about my classes that I'm supposed to take next semester. And I, I just was like, you know what? I want to talk about how to help people out. I want to talk about my experience and things that have helped me in school. I think everybody that's in college needs to find a system that works for them. Find a studying system that works for you. Make some friends have fun create your own college experience that you know will be beneficial to you don't try to have this college experience where you feel like you need to party all the time you need to be a stereotypical college student that you see in these movies no don't do that if you apply yourself and you have fun you'll do fine be yourself really i'm not trying to be corny or anything but really just make college what you want to make it and it will treat you well i don't know if that makes sense it makes sense in my head i'm sorry if it's not making sense coming out of my mouth but i'm just trying to keep it 100% real with y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It was a little impromptu. I didn't plan this video out at all. I just thought of things that I'm going through in college and how I think it could help y'all out. Even if you're in college and you watch this video, I hope you took something from it. If you're going into college, I hope you took something from it. If you're thinking about going to college, I hope you took something from it. I hope I helped somebody figure something out about college. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Maybe I'll just do a college series because I'm in college. I don't know how more relatable I can get about college being a college student. I hope I made sense. I was kind of just ranting. I just had some feelings and I wanted to express. I hope that they came across well to you guys. Again, thank you for watching. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. I'll see y'all next time with another video. Deuces! Hee!